A new band. Brought to you by NZ on Air. The Active Live. Yeah. Kia ora and welcome to the Active Live Room. My name is Amy and I'm joined here today by Jack Panther. How are you? Kia ora. I'm really good. I'm so excited to have you in Me here. Me too. I've been bubbling all day. been pumped. It's been a huge week for you as well because you were on like the hits last night and then ZM earlier and then we're here to talk about your debut EP as well. So there's yeah. just like fun things to talk about coming out your ears. Oh, I know. It's, it's been like such a big week. Um, so yeah, I've been... Just so excited all week, really yeah. sleeping. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, just before we go into that, you've got your band here, which is amazing. Mm. We'd love to just sort of have an intro of who we've got in the room with us. Yeah, um, so we've got Jamin on guitar, um, and then we have Oscar um, on bass, and then we have Anna on drums. Um, just want to do a special shout out to um, Anna, whose project came out today under Anna Wild, um, and we've also got Oscar, his project um, under Sleeping Village. So yeah. Wow, we've got so much talent in this room. Congrats, yeah. everybody. Cool, cool. Um, so let's just talk about your debut EP. So that's come out six days ago, seven days ago, a week ago. Yeah, very, it's Friday. Very, very recently. And um, it's called This Dream I Had. It's very much indie pop. It's been described as sort of melancholic, quite vulnerable. Would you say that's your brand? Totally. Um, just coincidentally, I just like to write about um, stuff that's kind of just pours out of me and I think it happens to be probably quite vulnerable in that sense. Yeah, so there was three songs, that's a total of six songs on the EP and there's three that had already been released and then three new ones as well, which is yeah. super exciting. Yeah. Um, how long had this sort of been in the works for you? Um, some of the songs like um, Blue Boy and Power I wrote almost two years ago. So wow. they've been in the pipeline for a while. Um, I think it probably just shows that they really stuck with me throughout the recording process and throughout the the, the nine months I wrote the EP. Um, yeah. So the, the older ones really just stuck with it and it ended up kind of telling a story. So I've been sitting on them a little while, but in yeah. a really exciting way because they mean a lot to me and they're quite nostalgic already. Amazing. Um, what was sort of your key thing you wanted to achieve when you put this out? Like, what was the most important thing to you with releasing this work? Yeah, um, honestly, to showcase probably um, situations that, are, that have happened to me and hopefully they can be relatable to other people. So um, it can help them through certain situations or help them think things from a different perspective. Amazing. Yeah. We'd love to hear a song. Mm, what cool. have we got up first? Um, our first one is This Dream. And um, that one I was my first single from the EP. And... Uh, I've been so lucky to work with um, Charlotte Evans on the video, my favourite director during lockdown. And um, yeah, it's a nice dreamy one that we put together. Oh 
live room uh, you can check him out on Facebook and all of those good things there will be a video coming out very shortly this afternoon yeah. of all this beautiful performance all these beautiful faces so if you want to <laughs> check that out head over to radioactive.fm on Facebook as well so that song was called This Dream which is the almost titular song of the EP yeah, and you mentioned of. a little bit earlier that you created a music video with Charlotte Evans on that one so yeah. I want to go into that because she is a fabulous artist and she's uh. done she's worked with Aldous she's worked with Marlon Williams Benny, Benny yeah. amazing stuff she's awesome yeah um, I was so lucky to work with her so we were supposed to work together on Blue Boy and then um, a week out from shooting lockdown and I was gutted naturally as a lot of people were um, and yeah, and then during lockdown, I was like, I need to release something. Um, mm. Why don't I um, do you have any suggestions for album artwork? And then she was like, Hey, um, actually, I want to do a video. Um, I'm keen to like have this idea to work with 40 cinematographers around the world and put together a, a video. Do you want to do it for the stream? And I was like, <laughs> like my favorite director approaching me to do a project. Yeah. I was like gobsmack so um yeah we ended up doing the stream and putting that out and um with five cinematographers and she may or may not be making a documentary with the other 35 or so oh um, my goodness that's super exciting because I, I can tell that but um we'll keep that under wraps <laughs> yeah. first guys uh, yeah because the the imagery in that music video is just so stunning it's just absolutely beautiful so she gets she gets my vision and goes beyond it i mean she has her own vision and style and i feel like it just blended so well yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And then, of course, I have to ask, mm. with the whole COVID situation, yeah. so you were about to do a music video when that yeah. hit. For Blue Boy, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> how did COVID kind of impact your your whole, what you've been doing this year? It's impacted the project hugely. Um, I was expecting to put it out, out in May and a whole bunch of things, but I think actually waiting has been able to give these awesome opportunities, like working with Charlotte, doing a different video, and... Um, and may or may not be having a video for Blue Boy coming out in two weeks. Um, oh. And, yeah, I'm very excited. I saw the edit today. And, um, yeah, I'm yeah I'm freaking out at how Stoked. awesome it's going to be. That's so cool because it's kind of like, yeah, um, everything got put on the back burner for a while. But it just makes it all more exciting. And we kind of realize how lucky we are as well. Totally. it's. I think it's probably about pushing through and finding opportunities in those situations where, you know, you feel stumped. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay, what song is up next? Um, we have Power, I think. Yeah. Let's do Sweet. Power. Yeah, it is Power. <laughs> <laughs> I lie, it is Power. Um, Differently now, I'm looking over controllably. Uh, and I feel something 
And it started right here, the funny feeling Now it's love and I want it forever Don't leave me be, now it's love And it's a power, it's a power, it's a power of love Taken in my hand and I kinda like it Ah, uh, it feels differently I wish we could flow and it'd be this so real uh, enough for something Cause it started in my bed Whispered to my head Now it's alive And I want it forever Don't leave me be no, it's love And it's a power Stunning, stunning. I love how you can turn that real like melancholy feeling into just big smiles and energy. It's so, it's so nice. It's such a nice like juxtaposition. Thank I you. love it. So going back to the themes of this EP that you've mm. just released, it's quite, um, it's quite an emotional sort of train ride, I'd oh, say. Totally, yeah. uh, love and loss and happiness and heartbreak and all of those good things. Um, <laughs> can you sort of tell us a bit what was going on when you were writing this? Um, yeah, a bit of a backstory was mm. that I was seeing someone at the time, and um, a bit of long distance doesn't do any good. Um, so it's kind of about kind of meeting and um, yeah, and then going through that whole ride of um, yeah, just the heartbreak of that over time when you go and see them and things aren't the same. And then um, yeah, it's very much in the lyrics. <laughs> and yeah. then um, yeah, just coming back and. I think probably the other half of the EP is probably almost about acceptance as well and going through the, the anger and the denial and then kind of the really humanistic parts mm. that you have in those relationships. And um, I've been really fortunate to have the outlet of writing and um, in a way kind of honouring kind of the story um, through something that I'm kind of proud of making and something that's kind of made me stronger. That's, yeah. so, that's so lovely. And the, it, you can definitely tell in the EP that it does sort of come full circle as well, which totally. is really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you recorded everything over in the UK as well yeah. with um, a special someone. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about how, um, how you produced and recorded this album. Yeah, um, so I had all the tracks written and um, I approached Ian because he was one of my favourite producers and um, he liked the demos and um, he was like, I don't want to change the writing at all, which I think is so rare, I think, in a recording situation. Usually things change, but he was like, nah, I, I really like it as is. Um, let's just get into the studio and get recording. And I was so like, so glad to have this opportunity. And um, yeah, we recorded five of the tracks over those two weeks and um, Crawl, we tried to redo from the demo mm -hmm. from scratch and it didn't sound as good. So we ended up keeping the recording, um, which I did in my bedroom and it was really kind of the vocals were there and everything felt so 
rule, which I just did myself, and um, that ended up making it on the record, the demo, rather wow. than the reproduced. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Mm. That's so, so cool. Mm. We've got Jack Panther here in the active live room. We'd love to hear another song as well. What have we got up? This one's called Sleep. Um, this is kind of the, the peak, intense moment of the EP. Um, it's probably one of my favourites, and it's a dark, kind of slow burn-ish. Yeah. Um, so this is Sleep. said save me the hassle well I flew seven hours just to see you I arrived alone to the airport and I hadn't seen you in six months remember when I cried at the mall you really hurt me and you didn't all over me and slept so easy and I overheard your call to her you said you still think about her after I specially asked if I was the only one the night before I gave myself to you And I held you in my arms felt something new And I thought this was something good Then you lied to me Sleep by Jack Panther here. You're listening to Radioactive.fm. Let's talk about your show coming up next week at so San exciting. Fran. So yeah. exciting. You've got some really cool special guests joining you as well. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, honestly, I'm just so excited to play with um, and my incredible band. And this is such a nice preview to how it's kind of going to be next week. Um, we've got Prison Quiet. And they are incredible. I saw their eye gum, their first show a couple of weeks ago. And it was like, what, like almost 300 people at San Fran at iGum. And they killed it. There was such a beautiful, full sound. I'm so excited. And um, having Baxter as well, yes. he's just a dope person. <laughs> and I just, I can't wait to have him on board as well. So, what a lineup. It sounds so, so good. Yeah, I'm really honored to um, be there. And San Fran as well. It's my favorite venue. And mm. I just, I'm so honored to play there as well. So it's going to be a really fun show. It's going to be really cool. D uh, when was the last live show that you did? Um, I've played a couple solo and duo with Jamin, but yeah. um, 
my last full album would be like almost October last year. So wow. it's um and these are all the new tracks as well. So it's been a long time coming. Yeah, so yeah. so cool. And you yeah. can get tickets from Under the Radar and there's a few left. The last time I checked, there's a few left. And they're yeah, $10 yeah. Yeah, plus booking 10. fee. So, yeah. like, a steal. That sounds amazing. So, anyone listening out there, you can go and get your hands on those right now. That's going to be so, so cool. And then we've also got to talk about Blue Boy. Mm. Because that is your newest released single. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about the story of this song. Sure. It's um, the first one on the EP. Because it's kind of how a lot of things started. Um I was seeing someone at the time, and then I kind of met someone else. And um, the track's about it being the height of summer and kind of falling for someone else. And kind of, it, you're supposed to be really happy and enjoy the sun and lie out in the sun and be with your friends. And there's a lot of pressure in the summer. I don't know, like, mm. it's like New Year's, you know? You're supposed to be, like, doing this. And if you're not outside enjoying the sun, then you're, it's kind of like, it's the guilt of falling for someone else and not knowing how to tell your partner. And it's a really hard thing to do because something just wasn't right and um, something was so right with this other person. And that's kind of where the story trailed on from is going with this other new person. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of the first chapter, which um, I released as the last single chapter to kind of glue it all together. Yeah, amazing. We'd love to hear it. Cool. Um, this is Blue Boy. of your skin on my skin it's holy it's in your stare the feeling of your lips on my neck is lovely the baby boy no I don't know how to tell you uh, I met someone else and he's everything you're not uh, the sky is so yeah, the sky is so blue I love swimming in the deep blue And I don't know how to tell you uh. so Let me be the one To show you it's better Show you it's better And I wanna dive in so the water curl around can touch you now, baby boy. No, I don't know how to tell you. Uh, not met someone else, and he's everything you're not. Uh, the sky is so blue. Yeah, the sky is so blue. And love is so many and I don't. How to tell you uh, The sky is so blue Yeah, the sky is so blue And love is so many and that is blue And I don't know how to tell you uh, Deep blue, deep blue Swimming in the full moon I don't know how to Sky so blue, yeah, the sky is so blue. And love is swimming in the deep blue, and I don't know how to tell you. Amazing, 
Amazing, amazing. The sky is so blue. What a beautiful, so blue today. <laughs> beautiful song to end a beautiful live session. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. Thank you, Amy. Where can people go and keep up to date with you and listen out for what you're up to? Instagram's pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm kind of on that every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> every so often. Every so often. And then yeah. all the usuals, I suppose. Yeah, the usuals. Yeah, there's Facebook and amazing. Um, website and stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Big thanks to the band for coming in as well. It's so yeah. great to see this arrangement too. Go and get your tickets to Jack Panther's show, which is happening next Thursday at San Fran. Tickets from Under the Radar. Thanks again for joining us. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Amy. And a huge thank you to New Zealand On Air Music, of course, for everything that they do. Kia ora. In studio. Brought to you by NZ on Air.